Hey, good morning, guys. I'm uh, getting ready to go run into the gym and uh, do my cardio before I meet with my trainer, Sue. And I wanted to do a quick video. Because um, I am... Uh, I'm, I'm, mo I'm trying to motivate myself. <laughs> uh, I have one last push for the house. It has to happen this week or we're going to lose it. Um, I got to get some 1099s from my uh, <clears throat> insurance companies that I've been working with. And uh, I got to get another letter from my tax preparer. Um, and I'm going to knock that out today. And, um, you know, and they said that that should be enough to clear us to close. Uh, of course, I read in the fine print, unless there are other conditions that need to be met. Um, but, you know, my 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 uh, my broker was just like, this is it. This is all we need. Um, we're going for it. And, you know, that's that's kind of. It's kind of uh, symbolic of my life, you know. Um, you get to those points in your life, those those, uh, those phases in your life where you hit the crossroad and you got to make a decision on whether you're going to go for it or not or whether you're going to give up. And here's the thing. Even when you go for it, in the back of my mind and in a small little compartment called contingencies, there's the uh, backup plan that if this doesn't work, we still don't quit. We still don't give up. Um, it'll suck. It'll hurt. But we keep going. We keep going. We keep going. And I think a lot of us are looking for excuses to give up and not to dig in. I think that I think that's the biggest problem with our society today. We're, we're breeding a society of quitters. You know, everybody has a fantastic excuse. And, you know, I work uh, in, uh, in the addictions field in counseling predominantly. And, you know, and so I hear a lot of excuses. And I'm not saying that they're not good excuses. But I'm saying that they're just excuses. And if you're looking for an easy pass to say, you can stop now. You can stop trying. You can give up and it's over. Uh, I'm not going to ever give it to you. I'm not going to ever give. I don't give it to myself anymore. I used to. I used to be perfect. I used to be a professional quitter. Always had an excuse. Always was in self-pity. Always was feeling sorry for myself. And that kind of negative dysfunctional mental energy was keeping me in the rut that I had dug for myself. It wasn't a hole, it was a rut. And it just kept going. Because I kept looking down instead of looking up. And so even though this is the last push, it's not the last straw. I still got plans, I still got dreams, I still got ideas. And this is just one of them. And the whole key to success for me and, and, and for a lot of people that I, that I watch on, on, on YouTube is the, world, is the word relentless. We have to have, we have to retire that part of our brain that wants to quit. It doesn't exist anymore. We keep going until we're in the grave. And on the grave, I mean, I, I, my, I want my gravestone to say, he never gave up. So that's just my little short uh, inspirational speech for this morning. <laughs> I go way in today at uh, Nutra Health, so I can't wait to see uh, how much weight uh, I've lost. I've already lost uh, six pounds in the past, you know, uh, three, four weeks. So I'm excited. But, you know, if I didn't lose anything, it's no no worries because I'm not going to quit. All right. So I love you guys. Good morning. Let's get it done. Peace.